Hey guys, so I've had requests to do a guide on how to play Jade and Zuba, so here's the video. I will be going over the best ways to play her, her builds, ideal map locations, weapon points, and also who she best counters and which characters are good against her as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it. Now let's get right into it. Jade is one of the best characters for like the hit and run style gameplay, and this is mainly because of her abilities. Her active brisk whiskers gives her progressively faster speed. She can even be really deadly in bushes because she can still run fast, and that means she can take her opponents by surprise and ambush them. On the other hand, her passive is called Claw Away. This allows her to do an auto attack anytime an opponent is near her. This means more often than not, Jade is going to get the first hit. For items, I highly suggest that you equip either boots or holy sandals. These items will allow her to take advantage of her in and out play style. It means that she can like create a lot of damage even before they can react and get good shots on her. Additionally, items like adrenaline shot, bandages, happy treats, and vampire teeth. So if you guys have those items, you should try to equip them as well with her. When I item that you should never equip with Jade is the helium canister because the helium canister activates a knockback when you do it. In order for Jade to inflict damage on her opponents, they need to be close to her. As far as map locations, the best area for her is the savannah because the patches of bushes allow her to move quickly when boots and her active ability are activated. And another good location for her is the bush area near the cave as this allows her to still use her boots and go from place to place, but it's just not as good as the savannah. Places that you want to be very careful of are the ice area, the center of the map, and sort of the lower part of the museum. There just aren't any bushes and Jade's play style really likes to take advantage of quick in and out attacks and bushes are what really allow her to do that the best. As far as weapon points goes, okay so first off I want to suggest not to increase any of the knockback points basically for the same reasons as I said for the helium canister. But on the flip side I do think adding range, cooldown, and velocity points are a better way to go. For example if you want to hit enemies from a safer distance when fighting with her then I suggest that you add range points for her spear and her shotgun. And lastly, I want to get into who she counters and who she's weaker against. So Jade is really good against supports like Betsy and Lizzie, and if she can get close enough, she can easily take down a Pepper, Milo, and a Skippy. On the other hand, DPS characters can sort of create some trouble for Jade. So characters like Finn, Nyx, and Henry tend to be matchups that can give Jade a little bit of a hard time. So if you want to get an edge when you're in a matchup with those characters, try taking the fight to the bushes where you can take full advantage of her movement speed and her passive and her active abilities and just bombard them with in and out play style like Jade does so well. Alright guys, in the last part of this video is just some game clips that I threw together to sort of demonstrate some of the stuff that we went over in the guide. Now you'll notice that when I'm around this area, I tend to fight around the edges of the bushes and that just ensures that I get movement speed um, when I'm zigzagging in and out of them. And right here, this allows me to kill this level 12 Milo pretty easily. Again right here, I come out of the bushes super fast and it's just too much for them to react when you're Jade. This is why it's essential to have those boots on him because or on her. Um, because you just tend to move so fast around your enemies that it's hard for them to hit you. So I took out that Larry and the level 10 Bruce tries to come and take me out <laughs> but it's not gonna work. I have two health kits, so easy stuff right there. Took out that Earl. This was a good team fight right here. Yeah, I think I take out this level 10 Duke and then... I to come uh, save him, but... Didn't work for him. So, yeah. Alright, and this last one is going to be uh, a match that I'm doing. So, we're starting at the museum, and this isn't the best spot that you want to start out with uh, Larry, like, I mean, sorry, with Jade, like I said. Uh, you, you want to start around the savannah or uh, near the cave. So, I want to be a little bit careful here. I'm going to come down here and get this bronze shotgun just to make sure I have some extra weapons to fight with. Uh, our team is holding off pretty good. Okay, so this is good. So now I got enough health, I got shield, and a gold spear, so... I play a little aggressively. I think my team's gonna support me if I play a bit aggressively. Okay, we took out that level 14 Steve, which is good. Just took out that level 13 Larry. 
a lot of people here, so I gotta be really careful. this level 7 Lizzie no I couldn't get her okay sure I can just make one more push no okay well they're gonna go so I'm, I'm gonna go up back to my teammates <laughs> see what they're up to alright so the storm it looks like it's uh they're just on the left Again, like I said in the uh, beginning, this is not the spot that you want to be in when you're Jade. Especially in a team fight. Like, um, it's really difficult for her to just get any good positioning because there aren't any bushes and it's hard for her to get close to an enemy. That was good though. That was good right there. Gonna chase down this level 10 Jade. Be fine. Let me get this extra health kit. Uh, looks like it's only just us and one other person, so I think we all know how this is going to end for that other person. Just gotta find him. right now at this point. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this win. Um, if you guys like this video, like I said, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want me to do any other more character guides for you. Um, I did enjoy making this one. Jade is a very fun character to play with. She's super fast, really strong, and probably one of the best in team fights. Oh there he is. The last one. So Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.